Welcome. My name is Mark Weinzimmer. This is an S-based studio walkthrough, part two. Today we will talk about data source connections and mini schemas. So first, how to connect a data source. Well, it's pretty easy. All you need to do is run the data source wizard. Once you run the wizard, you'll be prompted to enter a connection name, a data source type, and be aware that the only types allowed are OBIEE, EPMA, flat files, and relational tables. Today, we're going to be using a relational table, and we're going to be using SQL Server. OK, so then you enter the server name, and after that, the username, password, and choose your database name. If you choose, you could click Test Connection, and then Next. Then we're going to select our tables. Here we have selected family, market, measures, population, product, region, sales, sales fact, scenario, and supplier. Then you could click that little button to lock during exploration if you like to, if you don't want anybody changing these. If you don't care, you could leave that empty. Click Next, and you move on to create our mini schema. You could also skip the mini schema diagram here or use introspection. And I prefer to do it manually, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to populate the mini schema by moving all of those tables over. We can leave the sales fact out for now. And then we're going to add source objects. And these are essentially our members or dimension elements. We could click finish, and magically, our mini schema is going to appear. If you don't remember, the mini schema defines the relationship between tables for future modeling. And as you can see, it's a graphical representation of our data. If we right click on the measures uh, table, we can actually then view sample data within the measures table. We could see the measures ID, which is the, our unique identifier, our child, which is our account dimension, and then a lot of other information, for example, consolidation, if there's a formula, an alias, and the parent. So that's all you need to know for now. Tune into part three. We'll discuss dimension elements and hierarchies. Thanks for watching.